Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Sikowski, Chief Architect and Head of Data at BNY Mellon. Each and every one of us in the financial services sector is trying to employ data science, advanced analytics techniques, machine learning, AI to drive commercial outcomes. Whether it's increase our revenue, contain our cost, figure out where the next fraud is, we're coming up with algos. What any data scientist will tell you is more data trumps a little bit better algo any day of the week. So how do we get more data? Well, I'm here to introduce a company called Infer. They're able to use cryptographic techniques to preserve privacy, but yet still allow our data scientists to employ machine learning and AI to train the models. So with that, I'd like to introduce Jordan Bratt for Infer. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We are in the age of machine learning and AI, and we have an insatiable appetite for data. But we're facing headwinds. Consumers, policymakers, and regulators are justifiably voicing their concerns about the use of data and privacy. And this is leading to balkanization, data silos. Now our data lakes are becoming data ponds. Sometimes our data lacks the diversity, which leads to algorithmic bias. And there's sovereign data policies, which are inhibiting our ability to transfer personal data across borders. We need a way to compliantly, securely, and privately compute on that distributed data without moving it. I'm Jordan Brandt, the co-founder and CEO of Infer, and we pioneered secret computing to solve this problem. We're enabling our customers to compute data while it remains encrypted to enable privacy-preserving machine learning and analytics. We're here to dispel this false dichotomy that you have to make a trade-off between data utility and data privacy. You can have them both. So a quick synopsis on encryption. There are three primary pillars of encryption. You have encryption in transit, encryption at rest, which I hope all of your organizations are doing today. At Infer, we're focused on the more elusive target on encryption in use while it's being processed. This is what we call secret computing. But now this isn't only about data security and privacy. It's about what you can do with your data because it is secure and private. We're just scratching the surface on the applications and financial services with our customers today. Within your organization, we can enable you to compliantly run analytics across jurisdictions, across lines of business. We're seeing banks partner with telcos and insurers to build better credit models, to build better risk models and customer marketing applications. And we're really excited about the evolution of consortia to fight fraud and AML with enthusiastic support from the regulators. The basic simple definition here is more data equals better predictions, right? Within your organization, within a department, within a line of business, you may not have the diversity of data that you need, again, leading to algorithmic bias or suboptimal performance. By combining more data, you're able to get better predictions with simpler models that you can explain to regulators. And as we see more cross-industry sharing, we're starting to see more predictions that were impossible to make before secret computing. To explain this a little bit, our XOR secret computing engine is in production today with customers around the world. And let's walk through a scenario. Let's say that you have a data scientist who wants to be able to train a model on distributed data to which he or she does not have read access. It's very simple. They're going to use their current tools and develop their model in, let's say, Python. They're going to submit that to our XOR service, which will compile it into a secret compute circuit, which is sent to these distributed data sources. That data is then computed while it's encrypted and exchanged between these parties, respecting all of these sovereign data silos so that you can meet compliance requirements like GDPR. Those results are then broadcast back to the analyst platform, where they're combined into the final output, which is accurate to within six digits of precision. So to recap here, the data scientist was never exposed to PII in those data sets, the XOR service never saw the data, and all those data silos remained intact. Now, when you compare this to other privacy-enhancing techniques, secret computing is the only one that does not trade off between privacy and precision. Our, public, our commercial product, XOR, is based on our advances in multi-party computation. We also have an open source library for fully homomorphic encryption called TFHE. And by the way, both of them are quantum resilient. Infer is headquartered right here in New York City. 
We also have offices in Switzerland and San Francisco. We have an experienced leadership team that's built successful companies before, and we have a very deep and diverse technical team. We've published over 300 papers in cryptography, mathematics, and computer science. But it's not only our team there, it's also our customers and our investors who believe in the company, believe in the technology, and are using it today in production. So in summary, we're building a secret computing ecosystem with industry leaders around the world. We're deployed live in many locations, many countries. We're starting to see more cross-jurisdictional applications. And we're also seeing acceleration that we've received from the FinTech Innovation Lab. So thank you very much for the help from the sponsors and the mentors. Today, we're helping our customers improve the current models that they have and do so compliantly. Tomorrow, we're enabling our customers to make predictions that are impossible to do without secret computing. Remember, in the age of AI, you do not have to trade off your data privacy and the utility. Thank you very much. Give us a shout later.